Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Um, before this video starts, I just wanted to say that recently we hit 150 subs, and I just before the video continues, I just wanted to just say thank you to guys, you know, just to say thank you. I um I didn't think I'd exactly make it this far. I know I said this is with 100 subs, but. Um, I'm just, just happy, you know, like, like it's like a, I just didn't think I'd make it to 150. I mean, when I got to 100 subs, I was, I was ecstatic because like I said, I didn't think I'd get that far, but the fact that I was able to get to 150 subs is already an amazing feat for someone like me. Um, the fact that I was just, because you just guys like the way I am and my content just, it, it just says a lot, and I really appreciate you guys just watching my stuff, and even if it is kind of shitty. But I'm making this whole thing because, you know, this was a celebra celebration of a, a celebration of reaching 150 subs, and because of that, I went on a marathon for Mega Man. So I'm hoping that you guys would enjoy the video because I you know it's quite long. And, um, hope you guys have fun with it. After all, I am recording this at 5.20 in the morning, so I gotta go to bed soon. But other than that, yeah. Thank you guys. And enjoy the video. The legendary Reploid Zero awoke from a long slumber. With Ciel's resistance to defeat, he defeated Copyx, the ruler of Neo Arcadia. The terror of the Neo Arcadian regime ended, but the energy shortage remained a constant problem. Well, I mean, it's, it's been a thing for the past two games, so it makes sense. Ciel devoted herself to the researching new forms of energy. And El Pizzo became the newly appointed resistance leader. However, overcome by his desire for power, El Pizzo awakened the Dark Elf, whose magic had once nearly destroyed the world. El Pizzo, thirsting for the power of the Dark Elf, lost sight of his true duty and was finally defeated after a fierce battle. However, the Dark Elf fled her destination, unknown. After fled, her fled her destination unknown. The battle over the Dark Elf had only just begun. And it's gonna be for one more game. Because there are four games in this series right now. Two months later. Okay, so now we're in uh, we're in but fuck nowhere. Okay, cool. <sighs> Jerry is quiet. Haven't been many New Arcadian attacks lately. Things are almost too peaceful now. Is the elk leader research on the new energy? And if it solves the energy crisis, the Arcadia won't have a reason to fight us anymore. Actually, I already informed the Arcadia about this new energy, a CL system, but I haven't received a reply yet. Ah, uh, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. I'm sure, there's a, their answer will come soon. There's no more root reason to fight. We can live in peace, right? We're in the middle of a mission. Let's put a lid on it and walk. Sorry. The reading is getting stronger. We're close. I mean, it makes sense, right? Snow is, snow is letting up. Wow. Look at that. Jesus Christ. What sort of... 
Is that some kind of ship? Did he update Zero's portrait or is it just me? Miss Yell? Did that huge thing fall from outer space? Yes, but what's more? It's giving out the same energy reading as the Dark Elf. Of which there's only one in the whole world. Zero was against the idea, but I just had to find out. What could possibly be going on here? New Arcadia has the area ahead of us cordoned off. What? You guys stay here until I make sure it's safe. Okay, be careful, Zero. Gameplay time. Time to change the controls again. Oh, new UI. Nice. Dude, if we want the same thing, then just say it out loud, man. Zero? Can you hear me? Seems you're okay. Leave the rest of this up to me. I want you all to head back to the resistance base. But Zero... Oh boy. I heard that voice I heard that voice somewhere before. Is it calling me? Something to okay, so obviously I added a bunch of new tech. We got a new currency system, I'm betting. So the main question is, what does that new currency system do? That's the main question. That is the main question here. Like, what does this new currency system do, and what, and how much bullshit am I got to do and do, just to get a certain amount? Whoa! Jesus, what are you? Oh, fish lady, and horn dude. <sighs> now you're asking for it. I'll blast you to pieces. What the? Ugh. What are you? What sort of? You alive, Fafnir? What a monster. Two of us fighting together and not a scratch. Omega. Evil Ripley banished from New Arcadia. It's pretty tough. Nice. Zero. What the heck are you doing here? What is that? What is that thing? That's Omega. His mere existence defies reality. He's strong, but it's not as fun to fight as you are. <laughs> oh, my spleen. I don't feel like fighting him. So he's all yours. See you later, Zero. Pussy. Bleh. Leviathan. Can't move. I have to finish this another time. Hey, Zero. I'll get you and that Omega one of these days. Don't you dare die before then, Zero. I have a bat. Omega, huh? So you were the one who called me here. Am I supposed to lose here, or am I just... Am I supposed to lose? This doesn't seem too bad so far. There we go. That was easy. the heck is going on? Oh boy. Oh boy. Just don't give up, do you? What the... Oh, well, I guess his arms are gone. 
So you are Omega. Right, I can't let you leave this place. Ever. Time for your destruction. <laughs> Omega. That will be quite enough. From this day forward, you will fight with this person as a Neo Arcadian. It's not polite, smashing a friend like that. Lord. Wild. Neo Arcadian? Who is this guy? Who the heck are you, old man? <laughs> I am Wild. You may call me Dr. Wild. You must know my name. Harpuya of the Four Guardians. And you, the legendary hero, Zero. Dr. Wild? <laughs> You're kidding me. Can't be. Why are you. Who are you? Were you banished from near Arcadia with a, a century ago with Omega? That's simple. I, I brought him. Master X, is that you? Harpuya, <laughs> you haven't changed. And then there's. I missed you, Zero. Um, you must be your copy, aren't you? <laughs> I brought back Master X, whom you defeated long ago, to protect humanity from the chaos of this world. Wild well, saved my life. I oh, and <laughs> see, I'll take I'll take Omega back. Thank you, Arpuya. You keep searching for the Dark Elf. Omega and the Dark Elf? We'll need them both for what's to come. But Master X, think how many humans died because of the Dark Elf and Omega. Both built by this man. How can you justify exposing humanity to such a grave danger? Especially now with the energy crisis almost solved. What's this? You're trying to tell Master X what to do? When did you so bold, Harpuya? Wow, you. So, Zero. You guys are also searching for the Dark Elf, right? Let's make a contest out of it. I'll show you who the real hero is. <laughs> now things are getting interesting, Zero. Let's see how far you get with that body. <laughs> Great. This is gonna be... This is gonna be fun, isn't it? With that body? Zero. This is terrible. So you were monitoring the whole thing. Hurry back to the base. Operate. Uh, commencing transmission. Oh, nice. So they essentially just overhauled a lot of the game, essentially. Oh, so this is where Cyber... Oh, uh, this is how you get Cyber Elves now. You essentially just do this. Nice. Oh, so they overhauled just the whole world in general. Jesus. What should I do? Well, for now. Not letting your Arcadia have the Dark Elf. That'll be priority number one. I'll calculate our best course of action. What the hell? Huh? Wait, what? The simulation will take a while if longer to finish. I think we're gonna need your help again, Zero. But you should get a little rest first. For now. I'll save your data. Okay. So this is gonna be our new hub world now. One more thing, you should go one more thing. You should go see Servo. Face finish a secret disc now, analyzer. Find any secret discs that you can't analyze, ask Servo to have a look for you. 
I wonder if there's a map now. And there's... Hmm. Oh, it's U0. Did you get your new weapon from Zervo? If not, you should go get it soon. Let me know how it works when you do. Can't really test this potential in the lab. That's fine. Okay, time to talk to this old man. Hey, Zero, you're all right. Heard the news. With new energy, the world is still not at peace. I thought peace would be easy, but still. Anyway, just finished a new weapon for you. I'll fix your ass, Boomerang. Here, take it. You got the recoil rod. And the S, S Boomerang. Shield Boomerang. Okay, cool. Oh, one more thing about secret discs. Secret discs contain things you can't, get, you can't decode, right? Well, I can analyze them for you, so stop by in time. No, you can also talk to me if you ever want to look at the content, content of the disc we're already analyzed. Operator Mr. Zero. Please, come to the commander's room. Immediately. Okay. Zero. Is fighting our only option? I mean, we developed this new energy. Thought the world would finally be at peace. Do we really have to keep fighting? Ciel, you're already doing the best you can. And you're not alone. Leave the rest to us. Zero? This is Zero, we're ready. You can leave at any time. Select a mission? Yes. Spend the little missions. Let's see. Okay, I need time for the... Try and shoot. Time to look at the boss order. Look at the boss order, see how this goes. Oh man, it feels so weird finally playing this series after a while. Because I put this series off that there, I've been streaming most of the time. Uh, and yeah, marathoning is probably going to be the only way to do it. So, time for boss order. Alright. Man, it would be so cool if they managed to combine all games into a single game. And, you know, add some. Oh boy. Oh boy, if it breaks, then uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, and I didn't save. God damn it. I gotta do all that again. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh my God, there's spikes. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Doing fine. Doing fine. Doing fine. Doing fine. Doing fine. Whoa! Can't imagine playing this as a kid and figuring out how to do all this because it's insane. Oh boy. How do I move this? I don't think I can yet. There's spikes here, and I don't know why. Why are there spikes here? And these guys take more hits. Great. That's fun. Wait, wait, why is there a timer? Timer? Yeah, I know. I'm aware of that. Don't worry. <sighs> Great. That was fun. Woo! That was close. Not that bad, actually. Let's go. And my sister just left. Let's... Okay. What's with the holograms? Because I've been seeing those and I don't know what they mean. Also, I don't know if the music got a big upgrade or it's just me. Because the music sounds gr amazing. Oh, God. Whew. That was close. 
Oh boy, I think we're almost there. Because these levels shouldn't be that long, right? By the way, earlier in chat you mentioned this game is the longest. How so? Why is there more stages or the stage is just longer in general? Fun. That is rough. Who the are you? I almost give up on finding a foe worthy of fighting me. Like he might at least be a minor challenge. I'm gonna enjoy this, Zero. Who the heck are you? Get ready for Blazing Flizzard. What a wild numbers. Let's heat it up, Zero. Oh boy. What the what the law? What is that what he got? How tepid. That was having a little fun too. Oh don't oh no, are the bosses all the bosses gonna do that? They're gonna talk smack. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. I almost gave up on finding a f uh, blah 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 blah. I don't care. Either it's just me or the sound effects got way better. Never mind, that was... Oh boy, this is gonna get rough real fast. There we go. Who are you to put up my flames? Lord Wow will get you, though. Make no mistake, he'll cover the whole world in flames, you'll see. You can't put up the flames of our new world. Ah. Okay, yeah, I figured out how it worked. I just needed to get lucky with some of them. Dutch state the century ago Omega was ejected into space. There is no other data available on Omega. The subject was Dr. Weil. Dr. Weil used a dark elf a century ago. A century ago, caused the Nail Force. He was banished from New Arcadia. He was a scientist who excels at bringing dead reports back to life. So we got a neck we're dealing with a necromancer. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense in Mega Man. Of course it does. Okay, okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. Who we talk with? Uh, CL. I want to. I want to save. 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 Let's go. Operator. Your orders, please. Select the mission. All right. Uh, let's see. Oceanic Highway Ruins. Childre in Arabita. What the heck is that name? Uh, track the E signal. Okay, got it. So it's from left to right. That's what um, El Fulio said. Alright, let's do this. We verified a reading similar to the Dark Elf on ruins of an intercontinental oceanic highway. We have verified that the Arcadia is pursuing this. We believe it will take some time for them to reach the source of this reading. If possible, you should verify the signal, and if it is indeed the Dark Elf, protect it. You accept? Yes. Alright, time to go murder more robots. Let's go. Or reploids. Zero. Be careful. Also, I think either it's just me to change CL sprite. What the? Zero, we just got a reading. Dark of Detective, beginning pursuit.
still underwater. Okay, we're doing fine so far. Zero. Dark Elf. Stop it! What the hell? Um, would you would you stop that, please? Please stop that. What the fuck is that? Let's take care of this guy first. Ow! 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 Well, she, uh, that sucks. Let me guess it's crap. Oh, there we go. That was close. Oh, boy, that was close. Whew. Please be a save. Nope, not a save. Yes, it is a save. <laughs> oh, God. That was close. Oh, boy. Screw you, game. Extra life, not like I need it. I have saves. I have the saves. So this level is essentially speed run central. Okay, that's cool. Screw exploring, I guess. What a pain you are. That'd be easier to scare off than that. No more games on Childre and Arabita of Wild's numbers. I'll see that smug face of yours frozen with fear. What's your whole gimmick? What the hell? You have missiles? What? You're kidding me! Why is this happening to me? Bye, brother. Godspeed, Edge Boy. <laughs> Godspeed, Edge Boy. <laughs> I just read that. Godspeed, Edge Boy. Oh my god. <laughs> well, this is the early 2000s, so that makes sense. <laughs> oh god. Discovered a factory in Arcadia. They are fixing and refitting broken weaponry. It seems this is more efficient than making new ones. They have doubled weapon production recently. Destroy this factory to cut near Arcadia's military power. You accept it? Yes, please. But good God Almighty. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. It's been an hour already, Jesus Christ. Alright, operator, ahead is the factory control unit. Data from cameras in the factory sent to this unit. Destroy the cameras as you proceed. So another, another one of these missions. Also, is it just me? Did they make the? Also, I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like they changed the actors. 
for zero. Like the Japanese VA. Or is it just me? Oh my god. Every time I try to do the jump attack, it always spawns them right next. Oh, thank god. Wait, don't leave, don't leave, go back, go back, 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 back. Ah, uh, I accidentally moved right instead of left. Well, shit, nothing I can do now. Every jokes. I see them. I think I don't see them game. Yeah. Uh, oh god. Oh, they're the penultimate shit stage is gonna piss me off. Okay. Yeah, I can tell. I can already tell greatly that that's gonna make me upset. Oh, oh god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, so far I think I'm doing decently. Like, I'm not doing too bad. And here's the boss. Great. Well, if it isn't the legendary hero. And the cannabinoids do all the repairs on their own. So I was just trying to enjoy a little tea break. How dare you disturb my peace and quiet. Why well, your manners, sir, hero? I devil bet shit of wild numbers shall educate you. The first lesson the gentlemen must learn in refinement is intruders are to expire without a fuss. Oh no. He's one. Oh no. Oh no, he, he's one of those, he, he's, oh no, he's one of those, no. Oh, you don't like ice, do you? Piece of shit. Gotcha! First try, let's go! <laughs> no manners. No manners at all! I'm trying to follow while. while. what dismal behavior. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! This is why I can only play this game for an hour. Man, an all nighter stream is gonna kill. <laughs> Wounded Edge Boy, sure. You got the Thunder Body Chip. Wait, fuck, I didn't get them. I need to open them back up, I guess. Whew, boy, this is gonna suck. Zero. Thank you. That recycling plant will be out of operation for some time, I think. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, boy. Hold on. Never mind. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They figured out how to implement more than three elements. Oh no. Damn it. Ow! Ow! Oh, my foot. Investigate? Yes. Oh boy, let's hope this doesn't get too rough. Operator, this is zero. You can burn away the ivy with flame based attacks. The recoil rods charge attack and destroy things too. Keep that in mind.
love the heavy metal with this scene. Alright, let's just let's try the tonfas. See how those work. Wonder how combos are gonna work in this game, because I know the game has certain weapon combos you can do. I just don't know how to do them. Oh boy. Oh boy. I would talk about other stuff, but right now I'm trying to kind of, kind of trying to focus. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Digging the OST though, that's... <sighs> oh no. Mama. Mama. Hey, Priya. Mama's not here. That's right, Kriya. Mama's not here. Hey, Priya. Let's look a little further inside. That's right, Kriya. Let's look a little further inside. Um, okay. That's weird. That must be... Zero. I picked up some baby elf readings on the table, portable scanner. I gave you. There may be the same ones I was studying. Their mother. Was gonna look at the dark. Hey Zero, can you protect those babies? All right, I'll find them. Thank you, Zero. Oh boy, this is. Oh God. I like the Tonfas so far. They seem pretty fun, but nothing beats the Saber. The good old Saber. Oh my god, those are chips. Oh, oh! Saber, I go. You don't gotta be mean about that. Okay, time to use some saves. I got... Healing, let's go. Whew, that was close. Yeah, so far I'm doing just fine right now. Um, usually with Mega Man, I have a really large patience. And, or, and speaking of Mega Man, uh, fun fact, before, for most of you that are here, um, um, I think I started my journey for Mega Man last year, actually. Um, I think it was at the beginning of the year, or it was last year. Because I essentially, when I was first like trying to do YouTube more, um, I wanted to start off small. And essentially, you know, my whole gimmick on my channel is playing a lot of retro games. And... My first, since I own the collection, I was like, hey, why not, on my first retro series, like after Metal Gear, uh, just do um, Mega Man. And I did the X Games first, so... And, well, it's, it's just been like that for like that, that now, and I've been doing my Mega Man series since then. I'm hoping after I complete the Zero games that I do ZX, then um, I go through my journey to the original Mega Man games, like as in the NES, the NES ones. And then if you guys want me to, I can do the Battle Network because I also own those games for the collections as well. So I have plenty of Mega Man content. So if you guys want, I can easily do those games. Oh boy, here we go. 
Although, X zero X3 I had to skip because that game was just straight up bullshit. So, yeah. Other than that, yeah. I have a lot of fun playing these games, regardless of how rage-inducing they are, because they are genuinely really fun. Except X3, which I don't like, because that game is just bull. Who are you? You smell like mama. Who are you? You smell like us. Chica, chica, chica. So these are baby elves. Well, in a while, order me to find them. They really are just little elves. Are they useful? Oh boy. And over the baby elves. him he pushed mama around I know him too that's the guy who pushed mama around a century ago you faker you faker ha mm -hmm. <laughs> shut up elves you shut up you baby elves if you don't want to get chopped up go into that room what uh, Give me the babies. <laughs> yes. Hey, Jet. How you doing? Faker? I, I think you're the fake one around here. Those two belong to Lord Wild. You can't have them. Yeah, sure, brother. Uh, piss off. I'm Death Tans. Mantis, one of Wild's numbers. Uh, not 24/7. It's an all-nighter because I don't, I don't have the, the stamina for a 24-hour stream. So for now, it's an all-nighter. Yeah, it's the all-nighter. Uh, yeah, I don't have the, I don't have the stamina. Maybe 500 subs, but other than that, yeah, it's the all-nighter stream. So expect me to be here all night because I'm gonna be marathoning both this and 04, which is gonna take a hot minute because apparently 03 is the longest. So yeah, I'm Death Tans Mantis, one of Wild's numbers. Now time to slice you in the ribbons. <sighs> of course you're a mantis. Let's see, what are you weak to? Oh, you don't like lightning. the hell what in the f uh, what the hell back chat oh boy this is gonna be rough is it oh boy this is gonna be really rough is it Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. Let me skip it. Thank, thank Christ. They didn't let me do that in the, in zero three and, or in zero one and two. Oh, thank God. Whew. Even if you defeat me here, my associates will cut the old chains that bind the world and build a new order. Lord Wild. Oh, God. First four robot masters done. Oh, boy. This is going to be rough. Wound Edgeman, you got the light body chip. 
Who are you, mister? I've seen you somewhere before. Who are you, mister? I've seen him somewhere before, too. <laughs> My name is Wile. I'm the one who made your mother, the Dark Elf. You might think of me as your grandpa. Priya, did you hear that? He's our grandpa! <laughs> I heard Kreya. I heard Kreya. He's our grandpa! I'm looking for the Dark Elf too. I need your help. You should come with me to near Arcadia. I'll give you new powers and a new body. Okay, let's go, Preya. Okay, let's go, Kreya. Wait. Darn. See all keep all their readings? I'm sorry, Zero. That won't be possible with your scanner. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Master X, do you still trust that man? While his banishment did not follow official channels. Just because what he did resulted in a terrible calamity, that does not mean that ban banishing him was justified. He has returned to Neo Arcadia in a legal manner. <laughs> what reason is re reason is there to drive him out? Don't worry. He learned many things from his mistakes of the past. He'll do things right th this time. But. <laughs> Thank you, Master X. Oh, it's so unbelievably obvious this fucker changed him. I, Dr. Wilde, shall never repeat my past mistakes. Never again. Yes. <laughs> Still to gossip about me behind my back. My, how the almighty four guardians have fallen. What? Wilde! Master X, the Dark Elf has appeared in Neo Arcadia. Area Z3079. It's the farthest area from here. A human residential district. What? We'll go. Leviathan and Fafnir are still undergoing maintenance. But if you hurry things along a bit. Harpuya, how long do you plan to act like you're in charge? Letting the resistance get away with countless uprisings? Even letting the Dark Elves escape? I'm tired of useless people like you. The four guardians are going to be stepped down. But, Master X? Dr. Weil, I'm entrusting you with the leadership of our armies. Will you accept? <laughs> yes, sir. I will capture the Dark Elf without fail. Before she falls into the hands of the Resistance and becomes a threat to this world. Oh yeah, he definitely gives off heavy Seymour vibes. Tack up way in and find out. A tremendous energy is emanating from the missile. It seems that Omega is on board. Omega? That Omega on the missile? CL, and in the coordinates you found. That's dangerous. Operator? Hurry up and prepare for, prepare for transfer. Zero, I'm not sure about this. I believe in you. Okay. Enter the data. Please, transfer him. Understood. Commencing transfer preparations. This is gonna be crazy. Made it. What a relief. We determined the missile target. The target is Area Z, 3079. What? That's our human residential district! Wait, that's not all. The Dark Elf was there too! So he's trying to jump right in and take the Dark Elf. Understood. Ah, okay.
Yeah, because I don't know if some of them are temporary or, t or some of them actually, like, stay. Ah, uh, so essentially they're like permanent upgrades to me. Or are they not permanent upgrades? I'm just confusing it. No. Because so far, I, uh, I've had... Because I'm just confused at this point. They launched it. Zero, don't get any closer. I have to act now while Omega's immobile. I'll sneak in to stop both him and the missile. Zero... I like how there's enemies up here. God knows how they got up here. What the? Holy. You know, for a GBA game, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, scripted moments that feel awesome. Like, I don't know how they pulled it off, but they did, and it's sick. Oh, I see how this- oh, I see how this works. Whew. That was close. Yeah, I think- I think I can get an idea of what they're from the descriptions, but just in case. Baby elves? He came! The bad Reploid! He came! The nasty Reploid. Omega. Omega will go rescue Mama. Don't get in the way. Leave. We'll protect him from you. Don't get in his way. Leave. Um. Sorry, little girl. Sorry, little guys, but I can't exactly have you guys get in the way. Jeez, you guys have a lot of health. Whoa! What sort of... What the fuck? Oh, I'm doing way better this time. Come on, almost there. Let's go! Ah, you horrible thing. Ow, that hurt. We may have lost, but the missile will land soon. Our mission is a success. We may have lost, but we'll see our mama soon. Our mission is a success. Oh, no. Okay, so far I'm doing fine. Uh... This is a b this is bad. This is really really bad. Godspeed, Edge Man. Yeah, it's great. Yay, mama, mama! Yay, mama, mama! Oh no. Hey, can you beat up that bad Reploid for us? Yeah, can you beat up that fake Reploid for us? We, the Reploids of Near Arcadia, we are defenders of humanity, the only justice here. This wasteland that you people call justice? While? I... 
I am. Hapuya. Perfect. Get him, get him. Zero, don't move. I'll transfer you to the base now. He got the suck. Shut up. Zero. I'm so happy that you're safe. Please, never do anything as crazy as that again. I'll think about it. By the way, how's our Puya? Servo took him to the maintenance room. He wasn't hurt very badly, but I'll have to rest and recuperate for a while. Things really have gone horrible. Operators will collect as much info as possible. Analyzing all the information will we take a while. We'll take a while. Try to get some rest till then. I'm all right. Then at least I'll save your data. <laughs> yeah, sure. Data saved. So I understand how New York could fire a missile into an area where live humans live. You know, obtained the Dark Elf. Someone has broken into our transmission circuit. It's New Arcadia. Put them through. Can you hear me, members of the Resistance and Dr. Ciel? Copy X. We have custody of the Dark Elf. Let us put a stop to this foolish conflict. We ask that you surrender to us. <laughs> surrender? Hand it over the new energy you invented, the CL system. If we do this, I guarantee the safety of your Mavericks. He's gotta be. As a result of our analysis of the CL system, information you so kindly sent us, we have determined that by combining with the Dark Elf, it may be possible to generate enormous amounts of energy. This would solve the energy crisis in one fell swoop. There would be no longer be a reason to fight. CL, seeing the answer from you will bring peace to the world. I can't trust you. What's that? You were prepared to sacrifice humans to obtain the Dark Elf. I cannot trust you after seeing that. You cannot have the CL system. It was built so that humans and robots could live in peace. <laughs> Is that your answer? Fine. You have a monopoly on energy resources. And zero replied with terrifying fighting skills. You are nothing more than filthy extremists. CL, I was holding back until now, because you were there, a human. Now you could face the consequences along with your Mavic friends. <laughs> Transmission was cut off. New York Arcadia military has begun advancing on our base from multiple areas. They've launched a total offensive. Zero I. You believed in yourself and fought accordingly. What comes next? It's my job. Tell which areas they are in. I'll intercept. Zero. Explain the New Arcadian movements on the monitor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go, before I do that, I wanna go and use up any of the elves I need, because I need them greatly. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait. No. Didn't you mention that they reuse bosses in act in like the second act? Wait, I recognize these guys. These guys were a pain in my ass last time. Ah, oh, this is gonna suck. Southern Desert. Oh boy, the this is gonna suck. Okay, these forces must be intercepted as soon as possible. Can you intercept? Yes. Mission assigned. All personnel prepare to transfer. Operations for transfer complete. Oh boy. Oh no, it's not that you didn't have them last time. We had them. It's just that... I fought these bosses before and it's just they were a pain in my ass in general. Like they were just annoying to fight. Fuck. No, ZX3 is not a thing. Um, unfortunately, it's not. Because Capcom fired into creates before they can make it.
And it sucks. Because I really, because so far I've been having a lot of fun with the ZX game, the Z Zero games, and I wish they made more. It sucks that they didn't, because NT was fired before they could do it. And don't get me. And here's the thing: I don't mean like as in like they're a defunct company. I think I explained this a while back in one of my other Zero videos that NT Creates is still around. They are still around. It's just that um, uh, that they're just busy doing other stuff right now. Like they're doing Gunvolt. They're doing some few of their original IPs. I think they're even doing a Zelda-like now, if I'm correct. And the artist that's been with NT is still there for the art for this game. So they're still, so they're still around. It's just that you know, Capcom kind of told them to quit development before the game finished. And apparently, it was almost done. It's just that they just didn't let them finish it, and it just never came out. They ha ZX 1 and 2 are the only ones that were made. There's ZX and ZX Advent, which has the absolute glo absolutely glorious English dub that was not done by local English <laughs> English speakers and were instead done by people that... Japanese people that could speak English, and it's absolutely glorious. Like, it is... <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> It's so bad and it's so it's so bad in a good way because you can clearly tell they were trying, but they could not do a dub. <laughs> it was the funniest shit ever. Oh, it was funny. It's not as simple as that, dude. Well, shit. Whew! Whew! I could slash the missiles if that's what you want, but I, I could slash them, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I, here's the thing. The reason I'm able to get through the Zero game so fast is because of that save assist. If I didn't, these games would be an absolute pain in the ass to play through, and I wouldn't have to have much of a good time. I wouldn't even get, I probably wouldn't even get close to the final area. <laughs> but either way, like, it's still fun to play. I'll probably do a playthrough on my own end without the save assist. It would be cool, though. I just have it on because, um... There are times when I when I'm streaming or like during a recording for this game, and I don't have the and I reach the limit for the timer, and I was like, okay, I saved here, I'm good to go for the next time so I can continue. But yeah, other than that, most of the time I try to, if I can, I'll just use it just to save myself some time. <laughs> well, and not only that, it's not like the save assist helps much. After all, it's just like. It doesn't, it's not like the save assist helped much at all. I mean, the game is still ball busting hard. It doesn't stop that. It just makes the cushioning... It just cushions it a tiny bit. A tiny bit. But not enough to, like, be bullshittingly hard. Because if it was... Oh, boy. I have been summoned by Lord Wild back from the Netherworld. To continue my reign of terror. Ancient One. It is now your turn to lie beneath the soil. Back to the Earth with you. Let's see, how did I beat you last time? Oh yeah, reusing enemy attack patterns, cool. What's your weakness again? Oh yeah, ice. Oh shit. Yeah, I know. I was like, I was barely remembering it. I was looking through the comments. Oh boy, this is gonna get rough. Really rough, really fast. Oh boy. Blah, 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 I don't care.
Oh, wait, I forgot to equip ice. What is wrong with me? Oh, you bastard. You changed the sand layout. Oh, they're way faster now. They redid it. Oh, my God. I hate that. I really don't like that. Oh, no. Yeah, you sort of got to pre-jump before every single one of those. Oh, no, not the zombies. No, not the zombies. No. Whew. You of the ancient soul. You have no place in the new world Lord Wild is creating. I will enjoy viewing your torment from the grave below. <laughs> Oh, shit. Give me stuff. I want stuff. Give me lore. I want lore. Give me lore. Jackal's Lloyd. Jackal. Jackaloid. Reviver Dr. Vile. So far, I'm really enjoying this game. Like, it's not. Is it like. Is it a bit bullshit? Kinda. Oh yeah, Seraph X. If you saw that video, which you probably did, oh my god, I hated fighting Seraph X. Like I thought I had a bad time with Phase One X. Seraph X just sucked. Like the insta death pits just were annoying, and I just hated that. But Christ Almighty, oh boy, I absolutely hating fighting that bastard. Oh god, it sucked. But yeah. Either way, it's still great. This is a good. So far, I'm having really a lot of fun with this game. I can see why people say this is the the third game is the best in the Zero Quadrilogy, and that ZX Zero Four is kind of apparently Zero Four is kind of eh, from what I've heard. So, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll figure it out once we get there later on tonight, because even Copy X is not that dumb. Even, I know that fully well. Is, does he have an ego? Yes, he does. But I doubt he's that dumb. So there's got to be a reason for it, which we'll find out later on in the game, probably in the next hour. Because in the next hour, I'm going to be dying a lot to the, bo to the boss rush, which is... Oh, God. That's going to be rough. Also, is it just me or they're reusing levels and re-modifying them in some shape or form? Because it feels... Oh... It feels like there's stuff I'm going to see later on, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, boy. Oh, that is cruel. Nope. Stop. Oh, oh my god. Oh, there's a chip down there. Kill me. Please kill me. Kill me. I want to get the chip. Kill me. Let me get the chip. Thank you. So they have a... <laughs> I completely underestimated the use of the Tonfas. Nope. So the Tonfas are mostly used for pushing. That's... That's nice to know, at least. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> so they just really want you to use the Tonfas. Is... Is that what you're telling me? Thank you. Well, I can't get that because I'm just bad at the game.
Hey, JK, how you doing? Oh, it's oh, for a wall jump. That explains it. Weird. <laughs> My body has returned from decay. For Lord Wile, who gave me life. I have returned. And now I'll take your pitiful soul. Let's see you fight like a hero. <laughs> Let's see. Thunder. There we go. Oh god, no, your stage is- you're worse now! How are you worse? You're worse now! Oh god... You're even worse now! How do you get worse? I fought you last time I thought you were bad. How are you even worse this time? present fight however evil must fail in the end history will judge who the true winner is may you perish oh ancient god of destruction <laughs> ah christ the question is how do i get those chips Supreme Edge Man, let's go. Transferring, two, one. We have a long way to go to finish this all nighter. I think after this game, we'll take like a 10, 20 minute break and just chill for a bit. Then we can move on to zero four after we get through this, which is gonna probably gonna take a while. If this is an all nighter stream, then it's gonna take a hot minute for me to get through all night. This fucking no! Oh, don't say that, J.K. Oh, I'm not gonna get it on my head. It's just fucking the fucking recoil rod just has an elf at the end of it. I'm still in round. Wait, wait, wait! What? There's three. There's three rounds. Are you kidding me? What? Oh my god. You gotta be shitting me. Zero. Oh my god. Three rounds of this shit? You gotta be absolutely... Oh my god. Before it's usually two, now there's three? <laughs> That's such bullshit! Ah. Uh... Let me guess, round three is all the rest of them. Like Carpuia, Leviathan, and Red Dude. Is that is that what it is? Oh my god. That's such AIDS, Mega Man, why? Usually, there's only eight bosses. That's the rule. You don't just suddenly add another three. Oh my god. So round three, round two is the zombies, and round three is the rest. That is cruel. That is absolutely cruel, game. Why would you do this to me, game? Why? Why? Oh my god, that's such absolute bull. <laughs> well, at least we have all night to do it, so let's just get, try to get through this.
I forgot which was the which wh I know the Z ZX games are when the Metroidvania zero Metroidvania Mega Man's are. Um, how Metroidvania are we talking? Are we talking like full on Symphony of the Night or just elements of it? Because I know that ZX is apparently the Metroidvania of the Zero games, or the Metroidvanias of the games. Or am I just being dumb? Not only that, what I like about this game is that with each Zero game, the art direction gets better and better. It's like amazing how they're able to <gasps> pull all this off. Oh, there's a lot more backtracking. Yeah, that makes sense. Whew. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. Ship. Okay, okay, we're doing fine. Oh, okay, so it's not, it's still level based essentially, just that there's a lot more backtracking through levels. Is it like in the way where a Shant of uh, Shantae have genie hero type way where you just gotta like sort of wing it by warping to other areas? <laughs> hmm. I'm impressed you made it to the base. Still, I could not have seen that a little while. The man who brought me back. I'll just have to freeze you now. <laughs> Alright, brother. Hey, Vitz! Welcome back! Yes, I'm playing a goaded game. It is from what I can tell. Hold on before I forget. It's 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 a fun game. But from what I and the thing is it's a marathon, we're gonna play through 03 and 04. Which brings in the question. Cause I know 04 is not exactly fought uh people fought are fond of it. And that's what I think. Oh shit! Give me Lord of Wild. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, so it's like Shantae, it's like Risky's Revenge. Oh, that's a good. Okay. Which, speaking of, I'm hoping to stream the Shantae game soon as well, because I own most of the series by now. So hopefully it'll be fun to stream. Forgive me, Lord of Wild. <sighs> Yeah, I can't wait for the new game though. The new game looks sick. And by new game, I mean game they're finally finishing after being in, after being <laughs> abandoned and then picked back up. Uh, the Cyber Elves, I know that, but how much did they simplify? Because I know they simplified some stuff and then changed things how they worked. So how much did they change is the question. <laughs> Jesus Christ, a lot? Oh god, then when Zero Four happens, I'm gonna be out of my element. Because I'm used. Because this game has conditioned me. These these games have conditioned me to behave a certain way when it comes to gameplay. So if they change a lot of the gameplay elements, it's gonna piss, it's gonna irk me a lot. <laughs> oh boy. Barapuya, <laughs> the body temperature seems to be rising. Though there is a wound from Omega. Fortunately, the wound isn't deep, so there's no need to be too concerned. What will it be? <laughs> it's gonna be re-released everywhere on like digital storefronts, obviously, like on Switch, PS4, five slash four, PC, and. I don't know about Xboxes, you know, Xboxes, you know, it's Xbox, but other than that, yeah, they they are going to re-release it to all other platforms. So, <coughs> <coughs> but 
But yeah, they are going to re-release it, and from what I know, it looks really good, or from what I see. It looks sick. Yeah, they announced it. Um, like, uh, they released a few trailers for the game. So it should be coming out on most consoles. Yeah, they announced it, don't worry. Because I think um, ever since they released the game, they've been releasing videos every now and then showing it off. Not only that, apparently they're also going to release it on GBA hardware. So... <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh god, zero four. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> yeah, I know, you're old enough to see the transition, that's insane. But yeah, I think my first experience, I think I... I don't know if I told this story to you guys, because some of you are new here. Um, my first foray into gaming was on the PS2, where I had Lego Batman and Mortal Kombat Armageddon. <laughs> yeah, my, my parents knew about Mortal Kombat a while back, but they still just got it for me for the PS2. And they thought it was a good idea to give that to a 7-year-old. And I'm like, oh cool, Mortal Kombat. And yeah. Yeah, it's insane. But yeah, I was like, yeah, I grew up with Mortal, Com uh, with Mortal Kombat Armageddon, and um, I'm surprised my sister, uh, my 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 fam my parents just looked at that and thus said, yeah, that's fine, get that to a kid, it'll be fine, and um, it explains my current taste today. You know what's funny is I owned a PS One, but it wasn't the PS One you think. It was a PS One where um. Um, I think someone, I think it was like from an old program I used to be in. Apparently, um, that was, it was an educational PS1 where it's like you play educational games. And, uh, yeah. If I could, I could have gotten an original copy of RE2 because, believe it or not, at the time, I was discovering things like the GameCube with Sonic Adventure 2 with, with good old Kobana Mani, which, oh boy, I don't think we need an explanation how that went down. Yeah, well, here's the thing, people had vinyl still because, well, why not? I mean, it's like, it's so classic to have it, but either way, it's like, yeah, that's what I sort of grew up with. I sort of grew up with a lot of game, violent video games, and, uh, yeah, Resident Evil didn't help either. Yeah, it was a, it was the small one. And it had the screen. It, it, and it, yeah, that one had the portable screen, and it was, oh my god, it was really good. I loved it personally. Yeah, it was the original PS. It was the new version of the PS One with the screen in it, and it was not gonna lie, I loved it. I, I loved it. <laughs> it was great. <sighs> it was awesome. Yeah, that's the one I had. I didn't think. I don't. When did they make the screen one? Like in the late '90s or early 2000s, if that's my guess. Because I know they probably made it in the late '90s. I don't have it anymore, unfortunately. But by God, what is the was it a console? Seems the copy acts and while are commanding the entire army from this base. If you strike here, you might be able to stop me, Arcadia. You ready? Hold on, did I save? I'm gonna double check. But yeah, I grew up with like that era of gaming, and I'm like, you know what? Oh yeah, the original PSX. Yeah, I'm well aware you grew up with that. Chipped. Oh god. Yeah, I'm well aware. And um... Thing is, the guy let me keep it. Here's the problem, I don't have it anymore. And the thing is, it's not like I could get it anymore, because I lost it, because I gave it to my cousin, and she doesn't have it anymore. But I would prefer to, if I can't get my, my get my hands on it, I will. But for now, we're gonna have to stick with the good old, totally legit PS One on PC. <laughs> Strike here, you may be able to stop New Arcadia. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, that explains a lot. 
<sighs> Not gonna lie, I feel like for Friday, which is, it's, it's technically Friday right now, it would be cool if I made it a day for like FPSs, like a lot of boom shoots, because I have a few boom shoots we could play. Um, like, uh, let's see, I got Quake, Quake 2, Turok 1, Turok 2, need to get Turok 3. Um, let's see, Dusk, which is kind of cheating, because it's not technically a game released in the 90s, but it feels like one. Um, Fear 1, Fear 2, Fear 3, which, oh god, Fear 3. Um, Max Payne 1 and 2, and just, yeah, those are, and yeah, those are a lot of fun. And I might get Shadow Man Remastered, because that game looks cool. <laughs> Boom shoots, yeah. I walked into that. Okay, yeah, sure, I walked into that. Fun! Get rid of it anymore, so you just kind of gotta live with it. Yeah. It's a shame they're called that, though, considering, yeah, Baby Boomers, like you said, don't even like the... the fuck! <laughs> I keep going into the pits! <laughs> God! But yeah, I would really love to play those, like, every Friday or so. Especially Fear 1. That is a great... Great game. Uh... And Max Payne 2, because I'm a big fan of Max Payne in general. I think one of the uh, games I've been wanting to play for a while now was it was essentially Supernatural Max Payne, and it looks so cool, and I want to play it. But the thing is, though, I sort of since it's using like modern hardware, I'm afraid it's gonna brick. Actually, not gonna brick my PC at all. It's like not even that much. It take much that much power. But it's more like um, shit. Uh, it's more like I just want to play it through them. Yeah, to be honest, I feel like the only, I feel like the only reason baby boomers were hating on gaming is because of the fact it took up their TV, <laughs> took up the TV screen time. So what ended up happening is that baby boomers couldn't watch their favorite TV shows because their kid was busy playing. Oh, finally, the, their kids were busy just like hogging the TV for like the PS One or PS Two, and that been and I I felt that experience because my grand because here's the thing. I owned a Wii U! Yes, I was one of the few schmucks that owned a Wii U, and I loved it, because I used to play a lot of Wind Waker, and it was amazing. And... Yeah, it was great, and I love it. And my grandpa would get upset at me for using the TV, even though I would use the touch, the, the pad, the gang most of the time. But either way, I still like playing with the TV, because I would play Hyrule Warriors on there, which... By the way, Hyrule Warriors, great game. Highly recommend. Oh god, what is this? Highly recommend Hyrule Warriors. Really good. Age of Calamity as well, even though Hyrule Warriors is still my personal favorite. Still recommend it, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it took up all the slots. <laughs> oh, God. I just realized I don't think people watch TV anymore. Mostly people have, like, streaming services. Ah, uh, so essentially it's basically just Half Genie, which, if that's the case, I guess I gotta add Half, half Genie to the list. Because it is a part of a franchise that's super old. I mean, <laughs> I like how Shantae as a series just refuses to die. Like, it's been around since the 90s, but has only really gained popularity during the 2010s. And not gonna lie, that's a lot of respect, because, like, Way Forward clearly has a love for the series. They clearly do. It's, I mean, after all, it's their flagship IP. Flagship IP. So it makes sense. But oh my god. I would, I like, not gonna lie, if they could, they could definitely make a PS1 style Shantae. Fuck! <laughs> Here's the thing. You're in Australia, man. You don't gotta worry about it at all. Oh god. It's mostly just America being all pissy about it. That's mostly just the gist of it. You're fine. Like, Here's the thing, yes, your country has a hate boner for video games that are violent, even though, you know, everything else over there, but, <laughs> yeah, I, like, yeah, it's mostly just here in America where gaming's kind of hitting the shit. Well, I thought Chante came out in, like, 99 or 2000, or am I just dumb?
Like for the original G Game Boy Color. Oh god, the Game Boy Color. Funnily enough, I used to own... Funnily enough, that was also another thing my cousin let me borrow. Just for the sole fact of playing like old school Game Boy Color games, which... I think I owned a few. Although, they're they're kind of just iffy. Like, Game Boy Color games are not really my my thing. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, we know that. Yeah, I'm also resistant to that too. It's just a dumb thing to get mad at nowadays. Which is why it's like fun. And I remember, I don't know why, and I think I'm not the only one that's like young and like my, around my age playing a lot of retro games. Because what I noticed is that apparently there's been a bunch of articles releasing that like apparently people my age are playing a lot more retro stuff. Like, you know, like old retro stuff. So I don't know if it's because like, um, we're sort of having a renaissance right now. Either way. I would really, really love a remaster for, if that's the case, I would really want a remaster, which Activision unfortunately owns the rights to that game, Soldier of Fortune, because that game is sick. <laughs> like, a modern Soldier of Fortune would be sick, but no, Activision's got to be a dick about it. Because I really want to play Soldier of Fortune because it looks absolutely glorious. Or bloody glorious. <laughs> I still find it funny that I remember when Left 4 Dead came out. Apparently it was like banned in Australia. And it were heavily censored at least. <laughs> and <laughs> Steam and then <laughs> just because they feel bad for Australians missing out on all the blood and gore, they're just like, you know what? Let's make it easy to put back the gore by just, you know. Yeah. And <laughs> just like make it really easy for you guys to like play it and let me just say this steam is absolutely based for that because or at least um valve is based for based for that which oh god i need to play half-life because i have black the remake for half-life black mesa but i don't have the original nor do i have two which is shocking because usually when you get steam that's the first game you think you should be getting because of g mod and the like Holy shit, this game, this series is amazing. So here we come, Zero. You know what you're doing? Doing? You are helping extremist. Why would a legendary hero help an evil army? So you're saying that we're an evil army? And you people are fighting for justice? Exactly right. Almost all humans support our cause. All humans dream of defeating the extremists. What value is there is the justice of man? In place of human suit. Who cares about value? New York is doing what's right. That is enough proof that what we do is just. Round two, asshole. Give her more like, um... justice let's go no why I'm a hero oh okay oh yeah Megaton yeah that's the one um, yeah, I know people didn't like World Tour because it just, like, didn't have enough, as nearly as much stuff as Megaton Edition. Which, you can't even get anymore. Like, unless you find a way to get the original version, which, I don't even know where to find it. Yeah, it's impossible. And not only that, I already own the game on PS5 because I'm a console guy. 
I'm a hero. I fight for justice. While, Dr. While, use Omega. Crush him in your hand. He is no longer here. Who are you? X. X. You're my original form. Wild has moved to another base with Omega. Wiles was using her for his own purpose. Gee. Gee. Everyone treats me like I'm a fool. I won't stand for it. Let me show you my true power. Oh no. Wiles plays a trap on your body. I can't. Can't move. Yeah, because I know when um, World Tour came out, they removed Megaton, and it was no, no you got the Quickfoot chip, but apparently they just, and it's been just remo replaced with World Tour, and I know a lot of people did not like that, because you couldn't get World Tour anymore, or no, not World Tour, Megaton. Wounded Edge, yes. <laughs> huh? Well, I knew from the start how things would turn out, so I must have rigged a trap on him. To fulfill his true ambition. Hear me, citizens of the great land of New Arcadia. I must inform you of sorrowful news. <laughs> Dr. Weil. Just now, our hero Master X was taken by bloodthirsty extremists, and he has sadly passed away. So, in accordance with Ordinance Number 8, I, Dr. Wilde, will become your new leader. It is time to put a stop to these extremists. Ah, oh, wait, what, it was years before? Aw, oh, man, that sucks. Thank you all. I have just confirmed your approval. I'll have to ask you all to do a number of things. New Arcadia cannot know true peace until those extremists are eradicated. Let us all fight together until are wiped out. <laughs> but yeah hopefully i can make friday well, to, well tonight not tonight because obviously i'm gonna not not this friday because i'm gonna be tired for most of the day after streaming tonight but yeah i'm hoping to make fridays like an av annual every week to just play fps's And I think the first one I want to try out for Friday is Fear, because I love Fear. I've been playing through it. It's amazing. No wonder you guys love it so much. Oh, like a lot, of, a lot of you millennials love it so much. It's amazing. It's all going according to his plans. Dr. Weil, will you try to repeat the tragedy of the Elf Wars that ended a century ago? I'll look for Weil. need you to help. Okay. I'll look for him, too. Why did he say something about Omega? Yeah, on P yeah, it, yeah, it sucks that Megaton vanished on PC. What is it? Well, never mind. I'll bring it up again when the time comes. Hard is what counts, not the body. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I've been gotten interested in it. Because a while back, I remember when Doom 2016 came out, that was the game that got me into boom shoots, and I really loved them. <laughs> like, I want, like, I've been wanting the heart. Because I've been wanting to try out games like Duke Nukem, Doom 1 and 2, which are now remastered, which, oh my god, Bethesda fucked those re-releases in the beginning. <laughs> it was so fucking hilarious. And, because I own Doom, I Doom 3, Doom, Doom 316, and Eternal. Those are the only Dooms I own so far. And I also have, uh, and I wanted to play through Quake, Quake 2 on stream once, but then I got lazy and I deleted the footage on accident. <laughs> yeah, so I was going to do a Quake record, I did a Quake recording a while back. And uh, that one kind of just went nowhere, so I just kind of ignored it. But yeah, it's gr they're great. I really want to try to play them on stream. So this is what it has come to. Like the wild has the ruler of New Arcadia. <laughs> Those humans haven't been told a thing. No, that's not it. They haven't tried to learn a thing. <laughs> Lives with plenty of food and comfort. People have stopped bothering to rethink with, think with their heads. Maybe some people who want to do something, if we could somehow let those kinds of people know what Dr. Wilde is really thinking, might be able to change New Arcadia. Who is this Dr. Wilde anyway? What has been what has he been doing since he reappeared? 
If you can gather some information, we might be able to analyze it to determine where he is pre presently and what he's been doing until now. Okay. Where do I need to go? Just tell me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been wanting to play them a lot recently. Because, uh... I also wanted... There's also another one specifically I want to play, but I know I can't get it because it's just not available anywhere anymore unless I get a source port. Y'all ever heard of, um... Heretic? <laughs> I've isolated some locations for you to gather information. Select the mission? No. I need to look at stuff first. But yeah, y'all ever heard of Heretic? That's one I really want to check out. Because apparently it's super good. I know Heretic 1 is available. Not 2 though, apparently. Because 2 is in like a rights issue with id and Activision. Because those are ones I want to check out. They're great. They, they look awesome. They... Yeah, I know like Heretic 1 is being sold on Steam. I'm talking about Heretic 2. Because that one apparently is stuck in, in like... Um... Um, copyright limbo right now so i don't know if heretic 2 is available because i want to get the whole series heretic hex and one hex and two and then heck heretic two because all of them look great but apparently heretic one is kind of or hex and one is kind of iffy because there's a lot of switch hunting which is not fun but yeah Yeah, because apparently Heretic 2 is really good. And a, and the reason I know about it is if you watch... Because I watched it through Civi11, who does a lot of really good boom shoot videos. And, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Heretic 2 looks great, even with unofficial patches. Yeah, unless I find a way to pirate it and get, like, a copy somehow, which I doubt I'll ever get. I think another... Which, and I get, like, a... Um, Find a way to play it because I know for damn sure unless I have like a disc drive I'm never gonna be able to play that shit ever so and then I think another FPS I want to play is Thief oh god Thief Thief looks so good I know Thief 3 and the modern Thief kind of suck but oh my god the original Thief looks great Yeah, Orange Zero does look kind of cool. Oh, so this is how I get the foot parts. Cool. Two. Oh, God. Blood 2. That game apparently sucks major ass. Alright. Which order was it? Let's see. Which order was it? Also, uh... Oh, yeah, I'm aware. Um, didn't they fuck up the difficulties in the original release where it's like, if you pick, like, one of the easier difficulties, it instead, um, switches itself up. Like, normal could be very hard and it could just fuck up the difficulties like you meant to choose. Yeah. At least it's not like the original Doom, where it's apparently on Nightmare difficulty, enemies can respawn, which... Oh, boy! Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling, if I do play through Blood Fresh Supply, I'm also gonna... Apparently, another thing to do is to download a certain map pack, which... Apparently, it's considered like the Blood Pseudo sequel because that thing has been in development for at least more than 10 years now. I think it's been in development since 08 or something. But it's so important that they have to shut down the plant in the middle of an energy crisis. This place was shut down around the time Wild appeared, so it bears investigation. Investigate? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Enemies hit harder, like they move faster and they react faster. Yeah, it's just a lot diff more difficult with the original Doom. But yeah, an FPS I do want to play starting Friday next week is probably Fear 1 because it looks so fun and I want to play it on stream because, like, it's it's just so good. <laughs> Establish facility operations to get into deeper areas. Yes, I'm aware. 
something about them is just so much more fun than current games for some reason. Like, I want to check out Space Marine, the original one, the one with the... I forgot what actor it was. I know Space Marine was really good. And then once I finish that, check out Space Marine 2. Because I know that game's also great. And I'm not even a Warhammer nerd. That game just looks fun. Which I am... I, no, which, by the way, chat, if any of you are 40k nerds here, I do not need you putting in any sort of lore in the co in the chat, please. Because I will not understand any of it. And I would just be confused. And I would have no idea what to do. So please do not spout 40k lore in the chat, please. I don't know, I didn't think you'd be able to fit it all. So please refrain from putting 40k lore in here. That would suck greatly. Because I'm fully aware how much bullshit 40k lore goes through, which, speaking of 40k, I remember when I saw Doom the Dark Ages coming out, um, I didn't, I looked like for some things from 40k, and oh my god, I didn't, like, I know, like, there's like a chainsaw sword in 40k, and the thing is, I saw the shield, and I'm like, 40k, you have a rival in terms of metal, of how metal you can be with your weapons. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Remember Dark Age is coming out and it's like, 40k, you have a new challenger. <laughs> you mean Quakevania, Hexen Edition? Oh yeah, 100%. Oh dude, I really wish they rebooted Quake as well. Because I, like I said, I played through, I bought the original Quake when it got remastered from like, by Night Dive. And it, it just looks sick. <laughs> yeah, Quake Mania. Yeah, it's sick though. It looks awesome. I thought it was coming out this year, but no, it's coming out next year. Which, oh my god. I know, but it looks metal as fuck, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, I know the I know the chainsaw sword. I'm fully aware that humanity's fucked in 40k. I know fully aware of that. You know, because literally the tagline of 40k is there is no peace, only war. So I know fully well how fucked humanity is in that franchise. <laughs> like the only 40k lore I know is that they're Xenos, Space Marines hate them, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> That's the only lore I know and that I need to know. Cause I <laughs> it just looks awesome, man. Oh, this looks fun. But yeah, I would love to... And I know Bolt Gun came out and that game looks amazing. Because I want to try out Bolt Gun someday. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, they just look... A lot of good games have just been re remastered. Because I know Night Dive right now remade System Shock a while back and they ported it to PS5, which is the version I got. Because here's the thing. When it comes to modern games, people say, oh, just upgrade your PC. You're forgetting. I'm broke. So, people, not everyone has the money you do. So what ends up happening is that, um, what else, is that if it's an exp if it's a game that's running on modern hardware, like modern PCs, then I would rather get it on console because at least it'll be stable. And yeah, I just prefer to have my games on console if they're like they're new. If they're not new, then I would gladly get them on PC if my rig is powerful enough. But if it's not, then yeah, um, console land, here I come. And the thing is, the new Doom, I don't care if its software is full of tech wizards, 
I'm not playing it on PC because I'm afraid my PC is going to blow up. I'm just worried my PC is gonna blow up if I play even on modern consoles. So I'm just gonna like let it be like that and just play it on my game, all my new games on my PlayStation, because that'll be much simpler for me. There's a reason people still buy consoles. What do I do here? It's that I know that. uh... Oh! Okay, hold on. Let me go back. <laughs> yeah, because that's the reason I still have a console. Like, yeah, I own a PC now, but the thing is, not every game is, mo is optimized for PC. So I'd rather just... And rather just get it on console, because at least they're optimized for that, mostly. And I don't have to worry about constant frame issues. Because at least with consoles, they're somewhat optimized. Even at, you know, 1080, 60, which I'm fine with. Like, I'm fine for less. You're, t you're talking to a man who, yes, was, like most of us here, was raised on old games. And I would still prefer to play my consoles on there. Play my games on there. Even if it means I get a lesser experience. Which, which, yeah, is a bummer, but not like I can do much. I'm not, not like I can do much about it. Yeah, yeah, on PC, it takes a lot of tweaking to get the game to work right, which, yeah, that's also a plus, but the thing is, though, a lot of games are requiring, like, modern tech or, like, modern GPUs and the like, and it just, not everyone can afford that, and it's a shame because, like, Oh, well, that explains a lot, yeah. Yeah, that's understandable. Still, though, I would prefer I do have a console just for, like, modern games especially. That's one of the reasons I say to still have one, just in case, like... Yeah, just in case uh, what ends up happening is that the game ends up becoming too powerful and just PC your PC just can't handle it, so it's like... Getting it for the consoles is might as well be a thing. Which, yes, it sucks, but... If the game is optimized well enough on consoles, they might as well get it on there if your PC's not up to snuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just... Bra I think Brazil is just scuffed when it comes to that type of stuff. It's a shame, but... Like, sorry if that's the case, because, like, yeah, it sucks. But it's just the thing we got to put up with, unfortunately. It's not the same over here, thank God. But, like, console, like PC optimization is just not good nowadays. Like, DLSS is an absolute treasure to have, don't get me wrong. But, like, don't use it as a crutch. It just does not end well most of the time, because most of your games are going to be optimi unoptimized messes. What do you mean? But yeah, I understand like why um, DLSS is usually relied on. Like yes, it improves frame rates and the like, and I would prefer to have it on all the time. But I could. But using it as a crutch is not a good idea. Like for a game developer specifically. Like yes, DLSS is a god save, but it's not like an all-in-one band. It's not like it's just a bandage on stuff. Like just. Like, if your game needs to have DLSS regardless just to run well, then that's just a sign your game is just not op not optimized for current PCs. Like, I know the new Star Wars Outlaws. Apparently, if you want to run the game at max settings, you need to, unexpe uh, not surprisingly, have a 480, which is... Forgot, for fuck's sake, Ubisoft. But then again, it's Ubisoft. They've been fucking up a lot recently. And I don't think anyone needs reminding of what happened with that. <laughs> yeah, 1080p is really good. Like, it's still a good idea. It's still a good option. 
Because I have a friend of mine, JP, my old co-host, if you ever saw him. I don't think you ever met him. Uh, he has a 1080p monitor, and he's fine with it. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine, too. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I have a 4K one because it's like... I got it on sale, and it was much cheaper than... It was like uh, just a couple $20 extra for like than a 1080 and I'm like, you know what? I'll just get a 4K one. It's much cheaper. Or it's actually just a better price and deal, so I just got that one instead. What's this? Yeah, Un Ubisoft for 2014 and before. Because I still like Unity. <laughs> I have a bias for Unity. I genuinely love that game. God, that game is such a fucking bucky mess, dude. It's insane. <laughs> 720 I also don't mind, but yeah. The, yeah, the only reason I wanted to, like, I'm, I play on 4K is because, like, here's the thing. Those devs took a lot of time and effort to make their game look good. I want to make sure I can see it clearly. Like, FF16, for example, that game uses a lot of dynamic resolution, but, oh my god, is the art style great, even though it's mostly just dark and gritty, which I, I like that. I like my stuff like that, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, you. Hey. No one's supposed to see this place. This is a Dark Elf copy factory. Got a copies of the Dark Elf sleeping here. In other words, baby elves. We had the factory sealed off so nobody would get it suspicious. Now you done it. I'll have to ensure you remain silent about this. Forever. <laughs> yeah, it's an okay resolution. I'm fine with it. It's why it's like when um, some PS5 games have 1080p 60 as like performance mode, and I'm like, you know what? That's fine. I don't mind it. This is a, it's a stable 60. I don't mind that for action games. Like for like Bloodborne though. Oh my god. Speaking of Bloodborne, dude, there's been so many rumors at this point. I just sort of gave up on a remaster, like mostly everyone else. I don't know why. It's just weird. I am Qubit Foxstar, member of Wild's Numbers. I'll make sure you never talk again. Oh boy. Yeah. 1440p is also a thing I would prefer. Like 1440-60, which is like... Yes, please. Like, I would love that. Oh, great. I was distracted by talking about PC, PC specs. I need to lock in. Okay. Time for 10 more deaths to this shit. Okay. What's this? Ah, oh, shit. Control's gonna die. But, yeah. There we go. Got my charger. There we go. Hey, you weren't supposed to see- oh, okay, I, I know this. Yeah, she's a fox waifu. Let's go. Oh, I see how to do this. the hell am I looking at but yeah either way I'd, I either way yeah it was a ditch I think one of my other childhood shows was fuck what was it called it was on Cartoon Network um it was essentially like mecha but not quite um fuck what was it called It was. It wasn't just Bakugan. Bakugan, I think everyone is also a childhood one. But there was one like it was one on Cartoon Network, where it was like a mecha, but not quite. And I don't really like mecha all that much. Shocking, because I had play Armored Core, which is also really good. I need to heal. 
No, not Generator Rex. Generator Rex is a goodie, though. It is a goodie. Um, I think another one... What other one was it? What version was it? Um... Fuck, what was it? It was like, uh, it was an anime. Um, let's see, which one was it? Um... It w uh, fuck, what was it? Uh, I forgot what it was called. It's like essentially like, um... It was essentially like, uh, like Gundam, but not quite. It was like Gundam for kids, and essentially, um... And... Fuck, what was it called? If I'm defeated, this room will cease functioning. And the copies will all die. There will be no proof. Nobody will know the truth. Anyway, we don't actually need the baby elves. The Dark Elf alone will be enough to take care of the Reploids. I can already see it. A shining future. Not Voltron, nor was it Bionicle. Um, because well, they're both good still. I remember watching a lot of Voltron. Another one was... It was like another toy battler thing. Where it's like they had like... One of them got like a special type of... Not Transformers. It's another one. It was on Cartoon Network. That's how I remember watching it. And it was like... um, Like there was like a bunch of like little robots in like competitions. And essentially the MC got the special one. I forgot what it was called. Uh, World Lord. World Lord Wild is about to create... And I see you walling the depths of despair. Metabots. I think that's what it's called, is it? Hold on, let me check. Was it Metabots? Hold on. Uh, Metabots. Was it Metabots? Yep, it was Metabots. But it was like a... Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a goodie. But yeah, they're goodies. I remember watching those as a kid a lot. I also also I remember watching Beyblade Burst when I got acquired by Disney. Yeah, I didn't like Burst at all. Bird's kinda of burst. Burst is just kinda eh. You got the double jump foot chip. Nice. I'm a scouting party, but the New Arcadian forces are too strong and they cannot pass. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's that's the era that I'm talking about. That's the era. Uh, it was it was super weird. Dude, I grew up in that era. You will not disrespect that era for me, man. That was my childhood. I grew up with Gumball, Adventure Time, Regular Show. Level Up, uh, Mad TV, um, Annoying Orange. I used to play that shit on my aunt because I, I like, not gonna lie, I was a little shit back then. I would annoy, play it just to annoy my aunt. And <laughs> yeah, it was great. I loved that era. And then Steven Universe and then Teen Titans Go came around and I stopped. Oh yeah, Generator Rex and Ben 10 were also goodies too. It was also where I discovered Yuri, actually no. I discovered Yuri Lorenthal through Naruto. What am I talking about? Yeah, because as a kid, um, remember how I mentioned that my taste in gaming was all, was impacted because I used to watch a lot of mature shit. Um, was, it was also my taste in anime as well, because my cousins would often visit my dad when I was over there, and I have a lot of good memories with my dad when I was over there at his house. And what would end up happening is that every night on Saturday with Toonami. My cousins would just chill and we would watch Bleach. Yeah, remember when Bleach used to air on Toonami? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, Bleach. It's such a good show. Yeah. Yeah. 
And nowadays, I barely find him Yuri in anything. But that's because of the fact he's just famous now. Like, um, I'm be I'm guessing, like, his agent... Considering the fact he does, oh, I don't know, Spider-Man now? So it's like, yeah, it's understandable why it's hard to get him. Like, unless your name is Naruto, he's not really the, all that ever, anywhere. Like, unless you look specifically, yeah. You're not gonna find him a lot of stuff anymore, because most of the time he's really famous. Which is why I was kind of bummed out when Peter Reload was announced and they said that you're, all the actors were being replaced. And I'm like, oh man, I'm, I'm gonna miss Yuri. But either way, I'm still happy with Alex Lee though, because Alex Lee apparently is a big fan of Yuri and Yuri gave him his blessing. So I'm like, well, if Yuri gave him his blessing, I guess he must be that good. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna trust Yuri on this and just like see how it is. And yeah, Alex Lee is really good. He's a really good actor. He's also an absolute meme lord, and I love him. <laughs> yeah. Which, fun fact, Alex Lee likes to stream on Twitch, and recently he's been streaming a lot of P3 Reload. And it's great. Persona 3 Fest. Oh, yeah, that's probably how some people also met him, too. Like, I remember when he was the MC. Which, yeah. Oh, boy. If they ever were to bring back Yuri for, like, a P4 remake, I wonder how much he'd cost. Because I know, like, yeah, Persona is as popular as ever it is, but Yuri's a big name now. So, unless the entire original cast agrees to come back, which, it's Atlas, I don't know if they're going to want to do that. Because, here's the thing, those actors in my made P4, they brought a lot of, like, um, a lot of nuance to the characters. <laughs> yeah, it had Sasuke as the pro tag, but with a different motivation and not re emo revenge kind of guy. He was just emo in a depressing way, and it's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, the original cast is also great. I, I took a gander at it, and yeah, a lot of the original cast is great. And I remember they, I think they were, they came back for the role. Like they got a bunch of the original P3 cast to come back, and it's kind of, and it's cool. Is that it? Ha! That container was Omega's ship, so you see. It's ours. As legendary heroes stooped to thievery. How deplorable. As king of the snow plains, I do hereby judge your crime. Okay, sure, buddy. I glacierly cack. <laughs> what the f. Wait. Wait, what's your name? Glacierly cack tank? Oh, oh what? <laughs> Oh yeah, Dog Hack GU was great, which I also own that, and oh my god. <laughs> that's that's peak baby Yuri right there. <laughs> oh my god, that's peak baby Yuri. That is amazing. Like the terror like <laughs> fucking terror of death. That is the most edgiest name I've ever heard, and I fucking love it. It is absolutely glorious. It's why I miss that era of gaming, man. Where games were not afraid to be edgy, and I miss that. It was amazing. <laughs> it's why I bought, like, um, Gungrave Gore. It's amazing. GU stream? Um, I don't know. We have, like, we have, like, two RPGs we're doing right now. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe on, I don't know. I need to try to figure out where to put that in. Because I don't want to just ignore SMT and Persona for so long. Because we're getting through those. Like, Tuesday's Persona streams and... Oh, okay, Vitz. Oh, well, that's the case. See ya, man. But yeah, I would love to do GU someday. Like, maybe after, S like, Persona or SMT. And, like, put SMT in the back burner while we do Persona and, and that. But yeah, I would love to do GU someday. It's great. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> Just the sole fact of hearing what am I fighting for from the good old, fa from good old Ichigo would be absolutely glorious. My, not stopping at thievery. You also defy Lord Wild. Lord Wild's new order will issue judgment upon you. Ah. But yeah, it would be cool if we got the chance to see good old fashioned Johnny playing Zero again. 
It's just the fact he's just so famous now. I don't know if we're gonna be able, they are gonna be able to get him. Um, and not gonna lie, him coming back would be sick. Maybe able to figure out what's wild and something to do by analyzing past data. I'll do my best. But it would be sick if he came back. It's why, like, I really... I remember someone on YouTube is do, doing a little pet project. Obviously, I'm not going to release the game publicly because, you know, legal reasons. But essentially, the guy's doing a dev kit where it's like, um... He's remaking the original Zero games, turning into somewhat of a hack and slash DMC type game. And not going to lie, it is sick. It looks like... It looks really good. And he posts, like, devlogs every now and then. And not gonna lie, it looks sick. And apparently, he released a new one where it's like, he figured out a bug for one of the weapons and he realized that, oh shit, that's a bit OP. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking funny. I don't know why. Apparently, pre-order, you get the original Dead Rising model for Frank, which not gonna lie, is fucking hilarious. I think people tend to forget that Dead Rising is a very meme game. At least in terms of like the way it's, it is. Like, story itself is taking itself very seriously, but... The game itself is... Obviously, you know, designed to be sort of like funny as a joke, but... Yeah, either way, it's still fun. Fuck! Yeah, I don't know, I just really really want to play the, that original game because it's awesome it looks so good and also fucking hilarious here's the problem with star here's the thing in terms they have the budget for that yes but here's the thing with star force you need to remember at the end of the day it's a ds game and that game requires a full-on remake not just a port and the thing is though it would require some like actual budget to get the game to work with like modern consoles because of the fact you know the whole dual screen aspect so yeah it would be a pain in the ass to do because people think like remastering a game is like super easy no it's not because remember a lot of old games don't play nice with modern hardware so there's a reason remasters are a thing they're made to either to improve some original aspects of the game and just make the game play easier with modern systems but here's the thing though i wouldn't be surprised if we get a star force game in the future i just don't expect it to be close because yeah they've been remastering a lot of mega man but i doubt we're getting star force this early please search for information on a wall on that console Patricia the data's location will be displayed. Please, go to the area and recover the data. Four matches. Wow, Mega, Dark Elf, Elf Wars. Specify search. Dr. Wild. Area with Wild's data found. Dis Nothing here. Yeah, we're getting a. I know for damn sure we're getting a Volume 2 collection. I know that. I'm just saying that. You got Dark Elf data. File number 351848. Dark Elf. Officially known as the Mother Elf, creator unknown. The Cyber Elf was originally created for the purpose of restoring Maverick programs to their original state. But the Mother Elf was altered by Dr. Wild so she could be used to manipulate Reploids by freely rewriting programs. Although the organized fighting of the Reploids, manipulated by the altered Mother Elf, did end the wars, this terrible power was still thought to prevent misuse. To so the Dark Elf. What's going on? If you analyze this data, we might be able to find out. about her but yeah we're essentially going to see more mgs ports obviously they confirm volume 2 is in development but i think they're kind of learning their lesson with what happened with volume 1 so they're going to put some effort into remastering it like actually get 4k support because here's the thing funnily enough um mgs4 ran at an unlocked frame rate so that means the game already played at 60 if like on if you play the game on decent hardware on the ps3 if you're lucky.
But yeah. Like, just expect that, essentially. Because, so all they really need to do for MGS4 is get the game running at 4K60. Other than that, yeah, pretty much they're good. MGS5, well, the game was already on PC, so might as well just give it full 4K, just make the game run at 4K, that's pretty much it. And the game already ran at 60, so might as well. You got the L-Force data. File number 945388. L-Force. End of the wars. Hyperel used from this. L-Force. Use. Dark Elf. Copies. Of the power while at will. Worst in war. Ended approximately 90%. Wiped. Zero. Looks like the data is corrupt. I think we may be able to repair it at the base. Thank you, Zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, essentially... We can shut on the PS2 as much as we want, but here's the thing. Kojima knew how to use everything for the PS2 and PS1. <laughs> like, it's shocking how well he made games like that look. Look. The guy was a... Like, you can talk shit about the guy for all you want, but he is a mastering at just using a console to its limits. It's why I remember when the if the with the PS4 come out, he wanted to make Death Stranding the way it was, after all. He wanted, probably wanted to put way more, but until console standards get enough to, you know, to actually match up with it, we're never going to get his full vision. Because he always wants this, he always wants that, he always wants to add this, wants to remove this, wants to add this, wants to change this. He's always, his mind never stops thinking, and I love him for that. But file number 650326, Dr. Wild. New Arcadia, creator of Omega, also the Mother Elf, sparking the Elf Wars. Banish from New Arcadia after the Elf Wars. If we can analyze this data, we might be able to find some new information about Wild. <laughs> yeah, Ascent. Yeah. So, <laughs> that guy was a genius when it comes to that shit. And he still is. <laughs> like, no one ever truly knows what goes on in that crackhead brain of his. Yeah, I used all eight cores of the PS3, but when the game ran at 60, and if if it did, then yeah, like I said, the game runs at 60 already, so it might as well be run at 4K, because the game is already optimized for 60. It's cool that way. Uh, I feel like him and Remedy Entertainment, the guys who made Max Payne, Alan Wake, and Patrol, should team up at some point because, oh my god, um, <laughs> Hideo Kojima's writing combined with Sam, Sam Lake's writing is gonna be absolutely a, the greatest mindfuck anyone will ever experience. Like, if they do that, it would be glorious if they, those two work together. Like... You already know, Max Payne and Alan Wake are already one of the more trippy, or one of the trippiest games out right now. Or Alan Wake 2 is one of the trippiest, trippiest games out right now. Imagine he got, Kojima got to work with that guy. That would, the, the mind they would, the things they would create together, it would be absolutely glorious. I lost. Yeah, it's why that's probably why the ticket's so taking forever to port the damn thing, because the damn thing just doesn't run, because because the fact that it's like using the PS3's hardware, it's probably a pain just to port the damn thing, let alone making it run at 4K. Because I know some games from that era tend to punch, push. Punch, the, punch above their weight a lot of the time, like Uncharted, for example, which, great game, but <laughs> guarantee your PS3 sounded like a jet engine. <laughs> then there was God of War 3, which was, oh my god, absolutely beautiful game, but oh my god, your PS3 was probably wanted to die playing that. Because of the sole fact that game just ran absolutely... It ran great, don't get me wrong, but the absolute, absolute optimization for the engine probably just 
wanting to kill the PS3 with how well optimized that game was. Because the fact that right at a solid 30 alone is already impressive enough. <sighs> yeah, it's impressive. It's why most of the time I've been a PlayStation guy, because, well, PlayStation's usually the one with the better IPs. Then the 360 came out, and they got the 360 for a bit, they went back to PlayStation. Then the PS4 proceeded to take the generation. <laughs> Which is funny as fuck to me. Dude, Suda51 and Kojima. Bro, you do you realize what you are suggesting? Here's the thing, Kojima and Suda51 are already weirdo people enough, man. The fact you want those two to work together, I don't even think people will understand what they're even trying to tell their story with. Like, do you realize how insane Suda51 alone is compared to Kojima? <laughs> like, Suda51 is already a crackhead enough. I mean, I remember when Death Stranding 2 came out, or the trailer. It showed the main bad guy from the first game looking like a weird punk rock star and he uses a guitar that shoots lightning <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> file number 815 omega the ultimate rap toy created by dr wild possesses incredible power and combined with the dark and off banish the outer space to one another l4 we can analyze this data we might be able to find out something about new about omega Who dares intrude upon my territory? Zero. <laughs> so it's you. <laughs> I am Voltil Biblio of Wow's Numbers. What is that you got there? Give that data back. Now. So it would be cool if that fucker came back. Huh. What's up with you? You're opposing Lord Wilde? Aren't you afraid of him? You... You're crazy. Yeah. The, the, the puns in this game are absolutely amazing, aren't they? Mission, 0%. What do you mean, 0%? I got the data, what do you mean? I'm analyzing all the data you recovered for us. I might be able to figure out what Wild's telling me to do. I analyze the past data. I'll do my best. But yeah, it would be sick if they worked together. And speaking of Kojiba, I really wish that if Konami and him are back to talking uh, back on speaking terms now, I'm hoping that someday they would be up to making a uh, uh, Zone of the Enders 3. Because I remember the reason they didn't want to make it is because Zone of the Enders 1 and 2 HD didn't sell well. And because of that, they just sort of canceled the series. But if they're on speaking terms now, then it would be absolutely amazing if the HD collector for Zone of the Enders um, got a 4K... Oh, no. Actually, no. I don't know. They already got a Zero run... Second runner has a 4K support. Never mind. But it would be cool if they made a Zone of the Enders 3, or remake Zone of the Enders 1. Because that game is glorious. It look, it's, I, it's amazing and I love it. Because I've been playing through Zone of the Enders 1 and 2. A Zote remake? Hold on, what's Zote? Because I haven't heard that, hold on. I can't remember hearing about that. Zote. Oh, Zone of the Enders. Yeah, Zone of the Enders remake. I forgot about it. <laughs> I thought you meant, oh yeah, Zone of the Enders. Yeah, I really want a Zone of the Enders 3, because I've been playing through 2, and oh my god, that game's so good. Ball busting really hard, but it's so good! <laughs> like, once you get the hang of that game, it's amazing what you can do. Like, everything just gels well together so much. Like, people tend, to, people tend to think that Kojima is just, like, a movie guy that just knows only knows how to make movie games. Here's the thing. He knows... Here's the thing that people forget. 
They confuse the fact he makes that he's a movie buff for the fact that he forgets, you know. <laughs> he forgets, you know, that he's actually a game dev. Here's the thing. He knows how to make his games feel like movies, not turn games into movies. He makes his games feel like movies. <laughs> That's the big difference. There's a difference between feeling and is. Last of Us is a game movie. Kojima's games are games that feel like movies. <laughs> There's a difference there. It's great. I love it. Looking at you, Last of Us Part 2. So many little missions. Alright, just one more dude. Let me save again. Oh, but yeah. I would love for a Zote 1 remake. Because I know Zote 1 was more of a tech demo. Like, it wasn't exactly... Um, how do I say this? The game wasn't exactly... Um, a full game. It was more like a tech demo to show off the engine. Because they made that engine specifically for MGS2, I think. But the thing is, people love Zote 1 so much, they might as well make 2. And the thing is, I have the second runner, because they remastered it, which... Why the fuck did Konami give that game for <laughs> VR support? Do you realize how that game would look in VR? Like, bro, why would you play that shit in VR? You would literally throw up. Why? Why would you do that to yourself? Like, imagine just play the game the way it's intended, not through VR, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's amazing. We need a giant elevator. We do not know its purpose. They are bringing us something from the deep underground. Can you investigate? Yeah. But, oh my god, if we do get a Zote um, remaster for one, it, for a remake for one, it would be sick. And then, and then a Zote 3 would be, also be amazing. Z Zote 2 VR support. Like, I get it, you wanted to justify the re release, but Jesus Christ, do you realize how many people would throw up from that game? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, like, the amount of people, like, throwing up from the VR support would be absolutely high if the game was sold amazingly well. Because, oh my god, the fact that it has VR support alone is just vomit inducing. I couldn't imagine playing that game in VR with how fast that is. Which is why, thank god I don't own a VR, which, oh my god, speaking of, Sony shafted the PSVR 2. So many games were being made for it, but then they like, cancelled a lot of them. Because they just didn't sell well. Hmm. Yeah, because it would be awesome. Uh, I wonder if there's any indie games inspired by Zote. It would be cool. I doubt that's the case, because Zote is just such a weird game. What the hell am I looking at? Is that an octopus? Oh, okay, cool. Okay, thank God. Full heal. Guess I die. Oh, that's cruel. They spawn in enemies while you're going down. That is so cruel. That is so mean of you, NT. That is so mean, guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy.
Bro, how many are you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy shit, there was a lot of you. Holy hell. Who the tells me I'm gonna have a hard time? Oh boy. Give me that. Iframes for dashing. Let's go. iframes oh god the iframes are so good i love myself some iframes it's amazing yes give me the iframes all right yes it's voltron it's sick Zero. Where'd you go? I don't see you. Oh, body hurts. Ow. Ow. <sighs> yes, I have tried dodging. How'd you know? Let's go. <sighs> Shit. Does a body good. Oh, nice. I got all the body chips. Is he in the room somewhere? There he is. Stand up already. Oh, I pray ya. You're hard to keep down. What are you up to? Why did you rescue me? You expect some favor in return? Perhaps. Oh, they're awake. How'd you feel? Horrible. Just the thought of being helped by you makes me nauseous. Stripped my position and driven out of New Arcadia. I'm used to guts. Oh, that's not true. Just stood up for your beliefs. Just like we do. You made no mistakes. My beliefs? I can't sit back any longer. I must protect the humans from vile. We have to stop them immediately. That, that wild... Wait, your wounds are not fully healed yet. I am a warrior born, born to protect humans. I am a proud warrior near Arcadia. I don't need any help. Even if my body should fall into ruin, I will still gladly fight for humanity. <laughs> so, Puyo refuses to go with us. <sighs> Mr. Zero, come to the commander's room immediately. Sure run, run your ragged, don't they, Zero? I'll be back later. Zero. Oh yeah. Don't you dare die. Let's yell. Report on what we found. Your orders. Oh, I need to talk to CL. Okay. 
Oh, I hope to God I don't fall asleep. Talk. Zero, I'm sorry. I had a lot of inspiration for us, but... I still don't know where Wile is. Yeah, she is. We have figured out what he might be attempting to do. When we talk about Wile, we'll open the data file for the health cores that you found. File 945388, L-Force. Near the end of the Maverick Wars, many Cyber Elves were used. The period from this time until the end of the fighting was referred to as the Elf Wars as a result. In particular, the use of the gigantic Elf, known as the Dark Elf, and copies of this Elf, known as Baby Elves. Amplify the power of Reploids, while controlling said Reploids at will. Made this the worst war in recorded history. Well, the use of the Dark Elf brought the war to an end in four years. Approximately 90% of all Reploids and 60% of all humans were wiped out. The technology used at this time, the technology of using baby elves to control Reploids, this must be what Vile is attempting to use again. I'm sure that what Zero saw at the Dark Elf Coffee Factory was machinery prepared for this job, for just this purpose. <laughs> Excellent detective work, Dr. CL. What? Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Is that Dr. Wild? <laughs> this time, Omega is absolutely perfect. I can now manipulate all the reploids on the planet without using the baby elves and make them do whatever I want. <laughs> time to start, Omega. Now you will see, pitiful humans, what you get for banishing Dr. Wild. <laughs> Taste the fear. Foolish reploids who banished me. Inscribe my name upon this world, the name of Nor your new ruler. That name is Dr. Wile. The entire world is in my hands. I have the power to crush it between my fingers at any time. Oh. Generic evil villain. <laughs> no. can't be happening. <laughs> new world. A new order. History is once again in motion. Seal, back! Zero? Inscribe it upon the world. The name of our ruler. Wild, wild. Both of you, freeze. It's okay. I'm just unconscious. All I did was disable the power of the Dark Elf. But my current power can only protect those at this base. <laughs> Took you long enough, X. Where is Wile? In New Arcadia's underground power system. Sub Arcadia. Mega's there transmitting the power of the Dark Elf around the world. Apparently, X and I are the only ones who can move around freely. X. Tells the coordinates of Sub Arcadia. So you plan on fighting against Omega? Yes. Why? Nothing. I'm sure you'll be fine. Careful, Zero. Hi. Have your in front of the coordinates for Sub Arcadia on the transfer device. Transfer me. Roger. All personnel prepare for transfer. Transfer. Oh, my PC is going to kill me when it turns off. Oh, 
I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can feel it. I can feel it. Hey, bastard. Dr. Wile. <laughs> I'm going to Azuo to play hero all by yourself. All the reploids in the entire world are under my power. Humans are like pigs, depending upon the reploids for their very existence. You do realize, don't you? Have I felt like it? I can wipe out all humans out in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Kreia, Preya, do with this one as you please. I've got some pig squeals to enjoy. The squeals of indolent pigs wasting their pitiful lives on idle pursuits. Would you like to know who rules this world? <laughs> He's back! The bad Reploid! He's back! The fake Reploid! I'll rip you to pieces! I'll tear you to shreds! I realize this is going to go on like last time, huh? like last time. It's not gonna end the way you think, brother. Preya, there's something wrong. Yes, Kreia, there's something wrong. I feel like I'm being stabbed with pins and needles. I feel like I'm being smashed with clubs and hammers. Me! Me! Zero. You alright? I just received some new information from X. Come back to the resistance base. <laughs> Understood. Transfer me. I actually sent us some new coordinates. Apparently they indicate where Wild and Omega are this. Maybe the last battle. Come talk to me when you're ready. <laughs> Alright, I'll try. Serena, huh?
bud. We'll see about that. <laughs> Having fun playing the hero, Zero. Hmm. You do understand, don't you, that I have no time for your petty games? Let's finish this for once and for all, shall we? <laughs> How pitiful. Of course, a red blur like you would never understand. The joy of ruling all that you see, only a human could possibly understand. A uh, human? That's right. I'm a bona fide human. The creator of Reploids, a human being. The desire for power, the joy of making everything work for you. You have no way of experiencing this without a human brain. It's the ultimate joy. No mere Reploid could ever understand. I bet most decent humans wouldn't understand either. You look like another Maverick to me. All I gotta do is dispose of you like any other Maverick. <laughs> good, good, an excellent speech, Zero. You must feel great, right? <laughs> oh, Zero. You were a fun guy, Zero. I'd like to play some more, but it's time to party. There's more fun surprises left in store for you. Enjoy this with a lot, Zero. That was close. Oh, shit. What the? What is this place? This is where I was sleeping. <laughs> Excellent, Zero. Your power is extraordinary for a mere fake. Fake? Oh, no. This, that's mean. A third phase? Those resistance losers just decided to call the Reploid they found here Zero for some reason. You may be Zero in a way, but you're still merely a copy. You're no legendary hero after all. You're just a reproduction. <laughs> you thought you were a hero all along, didn't you? Never. Suspecting that you were a mere copy. What a joke. Omega himself is the on and only original Zero. You're just a copy of him. The original Zero. Why is he your slave then? <laughs> He's a bloodthirsty god of destruction. All I did was upgrade him to draw out all his power. All right, Omega, or should I say, Original Zero? Time to wake this pitiful fake from a century-long dream.
Finally! Oh, shit. Please don't be a fourth. That would be too cruel. Oh, thank God. Oh. oh, God. Thanks, D. Oh, God. He planned to reactivate Omega. <laughs> Watch, but don't interfere. Don't forget, I hold the lives of all humans of Reploids in my hands. Uh. Zero. What are you doing? Hurry, stand up. Hey, I'm here to get a little payback, Omega. Time to straighten the record. You guys. While I was trying to bluff you, he can't do anything in his current state. Ah, dark Elf. Shut them up! Zero? What is it, Dark Elf? Her. A Dark Elf's curse is fading. Who's that? X? That's right. Well, just like a century ago. Work with Zero to defeat this Omega then. <laughs> and we save the world from your greedy clutches. Just like a century ago? The defeated Omega is using your original body. That's all. Your current body may be a copy, but your heart is the real thing. Alright, now's the time. Well, Dark Elf's power is weak. Time to finish what you started a century ago, Zero. Zero, don't do it. That's your original body. Don't you feel any attachment? Are you really prepared to spend the rest of your life in that cheap fake? You can do it. You know what's truly important. Go on, Zero. Finally. Oh, God. Zero? Zero? Wake up, Zero. Can you hear me, Zero? Energy is almost all spent. Can't stand this world much longer. Zero? I want to leave this world in your care. The threat WoW represents has not left this world. I want you to protect humans and Reploids. Zero. You can do it. You can... You can. Zero, wake up! Zero! Uh, what a relief. I was so worried about you. Mr. Zero. You re regain consciousness. <laughs> what a relief. Hey, everyone. Mr. Zero's awake. He's alright. Yahoo! Where is this? The resistance base? Who could have? Zero? Dark Elf? Wait, no, you are. She brought you back here. She brought you back here. Z. Ro? What a warm, gentle light. Mother Elf. Has Wild's curse been broken? Shouldn't we follow her? She's finally free. There's still, well, there's still a while, but. Let's let her go in peace for now. <laughs> I 
X, tell me about you, Zero. Really? I know you're not worried about a thing, but... Even if your body is a copy, as long as your heart is your own, you are Zero. The one and only Zero. Ciel? Thank you. Zero? It's just me. I am... Zero. <sighs> what a game. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, for much as a pain in the ass that final boss was, oh my God, was it fun. I can see why people like the Zero Three 3 game better than 4. But for those that are still here, thanks for sticking along. I mean, some of you just came back. But I'm glad you guys stuck with me after stuck with me here <laughs> don't worry I'm not ending the stream just yet we have one more game to go but I just want to give my quick review of this game and um, well it's great obviously <laughs> so thank God so hopefully We'll be done by 8 or 9 a.m. with 04. And then after that, I can take a well deserved sleep. But for now, let's just wait out these credits and then I'll load up 04 after. We have one more game to go, and after that, I'm going to bed. Because it's almost good. It's three and a half more hours till it's seven, or probably eight. But oh my god. Yeah, this game is great. <laughs> but no wonder oh, when Arturio said that that shit was like a long. That felt super long. God damn, was this game good? It is genuinely really fun. I can see why people like the third game better than four. 